And we begin tonight with a tragic update in the search for missing 17 year old Zion Foster. Thank you for joining us at five. I'm Brian Abel. Police believe Zion is dead and possibly buried in a landfill. Zion has been missing since she left her home in East Point in January and never returned. Police believe Zion's cousin, Jalen Brazier, is responsible for her death. His confession led investigators to a landfill in Lenox Township in Macomb County, where a dig is expected to begin to search for his remains. We do have team coverage tonight, starting with 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirstner with the new revelations in the investigation and what Zion Foster's family is saying. Jim. Detroit Police Chief James White is heading this up, and he says today they have been considering this for three months. So why now? He says because it's the right thing to do. We also talked with the sergeant who got this confession, and she says there is some credibility leading up to doing this. Jalen Brazier's been convicted of lying to police and is doing two to four years in prison. He said during sentencing he panicked and put Zion Foster's body in a dumpster. There's video evidence that's part of this case. Brazier has not been charged with murder. But he's already changed the story. He's already been charged with perjury. So how credible is he? Well, a lot of people will give a statement up to a certain point, and then there's other things that they leave out. So that's what this investigation that we're working on to uh, give closure to the family and justice. This afternoon, news conference showing all of the agencies involved in the case and the massive search at the nearby landfill, Pine Tree Acres, a team of 40 searching through the trash, support staff of 30, an area 100 feet by 100 feet. They will start on May 31st and will go seven to eight weeks. Zion's mother here coming to grips with all of this. To know that, um, my baby <laughs> has to be recovered from trash, you know. <laughs> that an attempt has to be made like this. Police say they told Waste Management about this development back in January, and they say the landfill area where this would have been involved has been kept isolated from the rest of their massive operation. Is this a search for a needle in a haystack? It's been three long months. What's with the delay? You know, why now not earlier? Where's the urgency? And well, we made a decision based on all of those factors that you just indicated. You use the analogy, you use a needle in a haystack, but my position is if it's your needle, and if that needle represents your child, what would you do? And it's the right thing to do, so we're gonna search. So they will set up a command post out here by the end of the month. They say the search could be seven to eight weeks if they find remains and there's a good autopsy. This could lead to murder charges in this case, or they could come up empty handed. Live in Lenox Township, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. A terrible situation, Jim. Thank you. And 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham continues our team coverage with a timeline on this case and the investigation. Darren Phillison. Yes, Zion's mother, Sierra Milton, who you heard from in Jim's piece there, says that the 17 year olds, her timeline was disrupted. The mom should be helping, she says, should be helping her daughter prepare for prom, helping her get her license. Instead, now she and many others have been anticipating a search of this landfill here behind me for her daughter's body. Zion Foster was last seen January 4th, leaving her home in East Point with her cousin, 24 year old Jalen Brazier, who took her to his home on Detroit's west side. At the time, her family pleaded for her safe return, expressing frustration in that first week that East Point PD shrugged the disappearance off as a runaway. At a press conference today in Lenox Township with various law enforcement agencies and other organizations, Detroit police laid out a timeline of what they can share on the investigation. Investigators say in the first two weeks of Zion's disappearance, it became apparent Zion was likely deceased. January 19th, Brazier became a person of interest after he made statements leading police to believe Zion's body was dumped in the trash and ended up here in this landfill in Lenox Township. January 24th, East Point police charged him with perjury for lying on Zion's whereabouts, but it is believed she's here at the landfill. Why now? Why are we here now as opposed to a month ago or two months ago, three months ago? Well, a number of, of things led to us being here now. Uh, looking at uh, a number of different factors from recovery efforts, risk, uh, health concerns, uh, identifying the, the tremendous number of resources needed. Now stay tuned because at 6 o'clock, Zion's mother tells me what she believes it took to get 
things to this point where authorities will be searching this landfill here behind me, where she hopes to finally get a key answer. For now, live in Lenox Township, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Darren, we will see you at 6. Thank you. And be sure to stay with 7 Action News for the latest on the search for Zion Foster. We'll have more on air and online at WXYZ.com, including a look at the investigation and the timeline of her disappearance.